ever since I can remember, I've just, I've just been here and like this has been home for the past 31 years of my life. People always think Godama is something that's a very dingy, laps up, you know, go there, find girls. But then there are also people here who also do enjoy the Thai food. There are other people here who just enjoy coming to Godama because of the vibe or like the things that they can get, like the people. When the idea of Enclave came to me, I called my dad and I told him, let's meet at the parking lot at Godama. And then he also at the same time wanted to talk to me because he had an idea to do something at the space. And I felt like it was the perfect time because like, if you were to do it any sooner, it wouldn't have worked. If you'd done it any later, it also wouldn't have worked. This space is basically an extension of me. So what I like for other people to feel when they come in here is, I want them to feel like they're stepping into my mind. So Baby Don't Cry is like, you know, that side is the very soft side of me. It's a very comforting thing that you say. This is like literally my home and like as you can see like the way it's designed and like the furniture and like the people that come in here also. Even if you don't know anyone when you first come here, end of the night you would meet someone new. And that's the beauty of the space. Obviously in Godamal, there's a lot of Siam Tews and like your KTV pubs and your little brick and mortar Kopi Tiam shop. Which is great and fine on its own. Being here for 31 years, obviously we got bored of going to all these places. So we just wanted something new and something interesting to add to the vast array of things here in Godama. The inspiration for my drinks, I try to keep it very Thai inspired. Kumantong, for those people who do not know, translate to baby ghost. In Thai culture, that baby ghost is not an evil baby ghost. It's meant to bring you more money, more business. But the thing is, the catch is, you have to take care of it. So my dad one day, like, he brought this like Thai syrup, this red color syrup that people in Thailand do consume. It's like a street side soft drink. So he offered that to the baby ghost and I was just like, oh, we can make something with that drink. Uh. Yeah, so that's how the, the drink came about. I saw somebody was doing like uh, this Earl Grey martini kind of thing. If they can use Earl Grey, what would be the Thai version? One thing came to mind was the Thai tea. Uh. So it's a shaken drink. So it's lime, demerara syrup, Thai tea infused gin, and egg whites. Normally people wouldn't order this as the first drink, but once they get used to it, you know, it will become their favorite. People that are working together with me at Enclave, I mean, my dad, number one, is like the main supporter. My dad used to run this like, also another Siam Tiu KTV. And then I have my younger brother, Rush, who's also a musician, but he helps me with everything else. That one's another support. Where are you covered so far? Basically, I'm covered from my hands, obviously, my left hand, all the way to up my arm, my left chest, and my whole frontal of my body. A lot of people think that Every tattoo that you do needs to have a meaning. I feel like it doesn't. That being said, I do have a few tattoos that do have a very significant meaning to me. So I have one on my forearm. So that's my late grandfather. I was very, very close to him. For me, being very close to him and not getting to say bye to him, it's a very heavy thing. And also being young at the time, I didn't know a lot of things. I didn't understand a lot of things and what was going on. All I felt was just like a disconnect. And then up here, I have a portrait of my mom. My mom is uh, one of those women who's uh, How would you describe You met my mom before, right? How would you describe my mom? Like, it's so hard for me to describe my mom. Like she's a, she's a force of nature sometimes, I feel. Like larger than life. I mean, for those people who are watching, like if you all want to understand what we are saying, like you just got to come here and just experience. That's why I cannot put in words. It's so difficult. And then uh, the most recent one I just did is a full frontal that is still a work in progress. It's called the Ecstasy of St. Teresa. 
when I first saw it, it just was very captivating. I'm very big on like histories. I do believe in like, you know, if you don't learn from our past, we're going to repeat that in the future again. What do I hope to achieve in the future? Oh man, there's a lot. Yeah. Um, obviously, I want to change the perception of Konamao because of the way the architecture and the vibe and like the layout of the space is very nostalgic. So it's like kind of you're stepping into a time machine. I want to focus on that more and like have people come here as a destination and respect the culture and see it for what it is. Oh, Nickelback. Favorite drink? Uh, rum and Coke. Uh, favorite tattoo? Favorite tattoo? Uh, my mom's tattoo. Food to try at Golden Mall? Beer Thai, Food House. Favorite drama? Favorite drama? Oh, Taylor Hawkins. Siam Tiu or Cocktail Bar? <sighs> Siam Tiu, ah. Siam Tiu for life. Siam Tiu for life, bro.